In this video, we're going to have a look at how to solve exponential equations. An equation is classified as an exponential equation when the variable that you want to solve is in the exponent. Even though there is more than one method to solve such an equation, we will only focus on one method in grade 9. In this method, your aim is to get one base on each side of the equation and also to make sure those bases are the same. This can often be done by using prime factors. In the equation written above, we already have one base on each side. So next, I'm going to try and make these bases the same. On the left, we have a base of 2, which is already a prime number. But on the right, we have 8. And this can be rewritten in terms of prime factors as 2 to the power of 3. If we now have a look at this equation, the base on the left is exactly the same as the base on the right. So for this equation to be true, or the two sides to be equal, the exponent left also has to be the same as the exponent on the right. So when the bases are the same, I can make the conclusion that the exponent on the left, which is x, will be the same as the exponent on the right, and then we have solved the equation. In the first example, we now need to solve x. On both sides, I already have only one base. The base of 2 on the left is already a prime number, but the 16 on the right can be rewritten in terms of prime factors as 2 to the power of 4. And now I can again make the conclusion that because the base on the left is equal to that on the right, the exponent on the left should have the same value as the one on the right. Therefore, 3x plus 1 should be equal to 4. Now I have a normal linear equation. And to solve x, my first step will be to get rid of the plus 1 on the left. And I'll do that by subtracting 1 on both sides. And then I will end up with 3 on the right. Next, I want to get rid of the times by 3. And I will do that by dividing both sides by 3. So x will be equal to 1. In example 2, we don't have one base on each side. On the left, we have 5 times 3. Here it is important to know that you cannot multiply the 5 and the 3 to get 15 because the exponents are different. This means I want to get rid of the multiplied by 5 and to do that I will divide both sides by 5. If I divide the right hand side by 5, I will have 9. Now I do have one base on each side and next I can make sure that the bases are the same. 3 on the left is a prime number, but 9 can be rewritten as 3 to the power of 2. So again, because the base numbers are the same, I can make a conclusion that the exponent left has to have the same value as that on the right, and that means that x minus 2 should be equal to 2. To solve x, I will add 2 on the right, so x will be 4. Now that you know the basic principles, we are going to add some previous knowledge of exponents. Firstly, I'm going to get rid of the times by 7 on the left by dividing both sides by 7. So on the right, I will have 7 divided by 7, which is 1. My next aim is to get the base on each side the same. We have a base of 5 and of 1. So now it's important to remember the definition that says anything to the power of 0 is 1. I now want a base of 5 on each side. And to rewrite 1 in terms of a base of 5, it will be 5 to the power of 0. Now I can say that x plus 2 is equal to 0 because the exponent on the left 
has to be equal to the exponent on the right. And when I solve x, x will be minus 2. In example 4, we now also have a fraction. I'm going to start off by still changing all the bases to prime numbers. On the left we have a 3 and on the right it will become 1 over 3 to the power of 3. Now I would like the base on each side to be the same and for that I'm once again going to use previous knowledge of an exponential definition. On the left we have a base of 3 and on the right I would also like a base of 3. That means the denominator needs to move to the numerator and for that the exponent becomes negative. Now the exponent on the left is equal to the exponent on the right which means that 3x should be equal to minus 3. And if I divide both sides by 3, x will be minus 1.